Hello, how are you? Let's continue the science process skills. So today we are going to learn about these two science process skills which are making inferences and predicting. Let's check them out. So let's check out the first science process skill which is making inferences. Look at this situation. Langi, why does this plant look green and fresh? Maybe the plant is watered every day. Perhaps the plant has been given enough fertilizers. Good! You have just met inferences or initial conclusions about the plant. So what is the meaning of making inferences? Now look at the conversation just now. Maybe the plant is watered every day. And perhaps the plant has been given enough fertilizers. So these are the inferences made from the observations. Now let's look at this conversation and try to make an inference based on these observations. Why are these leaves yellow? You're right, the plant is wilted too. Maybe it didn't get enough fertilizers. It looks like the plant didn't get enough water. The soil looks dry too. Maybe the plant was attacked by insects. Hmm, which one? The inferences based on these observations. Yes, these are the inferences. Maybe it didn't get enough fertilizers. The plant didn't get enough water. The plant was attacked by insects. Inferences that are made may be true or false. Inferences can be made based on the following steps. Observation and reasonable explanation and we will get the initial conclusion initial conclusion is an inference that we make so we move on the next science process skill which is predicting it is a skill to state an expectation of an event that will happen so look at this picture can you predict what might happen if one of the children does not move his or her feet in this race. This prediction may be true or false. Okay, let's try to predict. Look at the picture given. Can you predict the color of the cream that comes next? Hmm. Is your answer white? How do you know that the cream that comes next is white? This is because we can see the sequence of these colors White, red, yellow, white, red, yellow And then we predict it as white, the color that comes next Predicting is not the same as guessing because prediction is made based on observations, previous experiences, data, or patterns. Based on this picture, predict what will happen next. What is your evidence to support the prediction? We can predict the weather will be raining. Why? Because we can see the lightning and the color of the clouds. So these are made based on observations and previous experiences. That is what we call predicting. 
Let's make a prediction. Look at the situation below. What is your prediction on the movement of the ball? It can be more than one prediction. Remember, predictions may be true or false. Like in this picture, we can make a prediction that the ball will move to the left or the ball will move to the right, but it can be true or false. So that is what we call a prediction. That's all for today. Thank you for watching and listening and I hope you understand the topic of the day which is making inferences and predicting. Hope to see you soon. Bye.